match is yellow. And then we got Summer of A5 Brawl. Nigga, I am not playing Brawl right now. You are crazy as fuck. <laughs> you are crazy as shit. Nigga said hop on Brawl. Nigga. <laughs> you gotta wait, my nigga. We gotta wait. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Or dry our ass? OP. I wanna see this. Ultimate Battlegrounds or some shit? What the fuck is Ultimate Battlegrounds? What the fuck is Ultimate Battlegrounds? That's a game? The Africa server is full of extremes. You've got the most powerful builds in the game, including the largest- I'm gonna watch that, I'm gonna look up Red vs. Yellow. Alright, hold on after this. But while the African bush elephant may indeed be the largest, it isn't the tallest. All right. That title goes to the subject of today's video, the giraffe. Damn. Is being the tallest build in the game actually that effective of a strategy? Is How it? Did it play out in practice? And what abilities did the giraffe spec into in order to compound its innate advantages? The giraffe's extreme height grants it several benefits. The first of these is how it completely changes the dynamics regarding the game's stealth mechanics. So I'm gonna lie, most being a giraffe gotta be cool as shit, right? Savannah opt for the ambush strategy to get within ah. striking range of their targets. They tend to rely on a combination of innate camouflage and use of natural cover to evade detection while closing right. most of the distance, breaking from cover only at the yellow. last possible second when they believe they can. Clear we thought Yellow had a plot armor, but he didn't. And I think the video was called the Ultimate Battle Bounce. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, bro. You talking about that uh, combat guy shit we watched? Uh, was it a week ago? I think it was like a week ago, week or two ago. It was the remaining distance before the target has a chance to react. This strategy is Hello, almost five completely videos. useless against the giraffe. All right, bro, I'll look at the rest. Hit from natural cover, things like tall grass. I even got channel points right. Entirely negated when viewed from a high vantage point. While staying low to the ground may obscure your character from the perspective of something like a gazelle or zebra. To a giraffe, you are completely exposed, and your approach was seen coming right. from quite a ways off. All right, bet. The second main benefit granted to the giraffe via its height. Yo, I'm gonna add some things for y'all channel points, like some real rewards and shit, cause, uh, fuck, I gotta think of some shit. Like, what the fuck would y'all want, though? I would say what real rewards y'all niggas want, cause, uh, I can, mm, y'all want sounds, y'all want me to do some, fuck, I'm not doing no crazy shit, my nigga. I'm not selling myself for no shit like that. <laughs> With defense, because of the Sound alerts. hurt box All right. is elevated significantly off the ground. Well, I think I know I can get some. Difficult for most players to land a hit. I gotta get a stream deck, bro. I wanna get some in places. Fact, I'm gonna throw that. I get a stream deck. Threat in the African fine. meta. Landing a strike on the giraffe's weak point requires either a risky jump strike or an ambush from an elevated position. Neither of which Ooh, are very efficient shit. strategies. With the jump strike in particular being easily punishable by any of the mm, giraffe's many. Damn, yo, that action. shit! I know that shit hurt, of, nigga. Let's take a look oh at what those are. The giraffe's reach not only keeps its own vitals out of attack range, but also makes it very easy for a giraffe main to land their own attacks. Damn. Similar to horses and zebras, the giraffe's main method that. of attacking is its kick, dealing moderate damage to any target that dares enter the giraffe's zone of control. However, when the giraffe really needs to deal some damage, it resorts to its signature move, the Ossicone Shit. Dash. Damn. The giraffe swings its neck in a wide arc Damn. with the intent to connect with the horn-like protrusions on its skull, called Ossicones. Connecting with this attack means pretty much instant game over for any player it hits, unless oh. they have an extremely oh. large health pool, such as another okay. giraffe. However, it is a Yo. bit more risky to just throw this move out, considering that it puts your normally out of reach weak point in a potentially vulnerable position, and also deals a little recoil damage with each use as well. And if an attacking player does manage to dodge the first swing and get in close, using this move becomes much more difficult, since the close range hitbox is a bit of a sour spot. But still, okay. the mere threat of this move is still enough step to on shit though. Attacks, to the point that most predator players won't even bother with a high level <laughs> giraffe. Low level giraffe <laughs> Weed, bro. More vulnerable. And this is where the efficacy I had Madden on the weed. That shit was five. Really I didn't know what the fuck I was doing Upon though. Spawning in, the giraffe is pretty much helpless. It doesn't have the height advantage on its opponents yet, but because of its slender, lanky shape, it has disadvantage on all saving throws to avoid being grabbed or knocked prone. And so it's the job of the higher level giraffe players to complete the long, arduous escort mission of protecting the newborn giraffe as it matures. 
Now, because the giraffe's attack range is so broad, it is able to guard a wide area and pressure a counterattack on any player that would dare target the newborn. What else a giraffe? Now that I was a cheetah or some shit, a jaguar, what the fuck? Attacks, defending against multiple opponents at once can be quite challenging, often necessitating that a newborn tank a few hits as the mother chases away one attacker at a time. Now, despite having not leveled up at all, the giraffe starts with a pretty generous amount of HP, but even okay. so, it's not uncommon for the escort mission to fail. And with a respawn time of 15 <laughs> Months, God this damn, is one of go. frustrating aspects of oh, you left the baby. Next, oh, let's talk fuck. about individual matchups. First, we have right. the cheetah. Anyways, on a serious note, first we have the leopard. Now, the yo, leopard cheetahs are so pussy, bro. They used to be my favorite fucking animal. They are so fucking pussy, dude. They are so pussy, bro. Like, oh my, they used to be my favorite animal, bro. Like, they are so pussy. Bro. Matchups because of its don't like that. Like, god damn. As a kid, I thought these niggas were fucking king of the jungle, nigga. Like, fuck no. As part of their it was weak as shit. Pouncing on their target from above. This could mean it's the only predator in the game with an honest shot at landing a surprise crit against a giraffe. But in all honesty, this would be an insanely risky strategy. And since leopards hunt alone, there's really not much reason to try and take down such large prey. When they can survive just fine off You're of the standard diet of antelope and deer. <laughs> You're chill. Still, against a lower level giraffe, I could see this strategy working pretty well, if no allies were around to rescue it. But since leopards kill slowly by strangling their target with their bite, this gives the giraffe's party members a lot of time to react and respond accordingly. This is similar to the issue lions have in their matchup against giraffes. Oh, shit. Compared to some of the other potential threats, a lion can't actually deal that much damage on its own to a giraffe. <laughs> Even they're doing a slow amount of damage on that nigga, bro. Take it out in a single attack, leading to the same issue as a leopard, where the giraffe's teammates would be able to rescue it. However, because lions do cooperate, together it is possible for a pride of lions to bring down even a large adult giraffe, mm. but not without serious risk to the attackers. Yeah, bro, and they're gonna be hurt as fuck. Close in on their targets by staying low to the ground and be slowly, hurt. the giraffe's height is perfectly suited to detecting their approach and escaping before they're in any real danger. So lions taking down giraffes does happen, but it's exceptionally rare. The rhino is an interesting matchup. Obviously, giraffes and rhinos have no real reason to attack each other. But due to the rhino's poor eyesight, it tends to perceive most players that come near it to be threats regardless. Lucky for the giraffe, <laughs> Yo, the rhinos are so dumb, not bro. usually able to reach the giraffe's weak point. <laughs> hey, dumb so as long as it can avoid getting knocked over, <laughs> dumb giraffes fun, tend to bro. do just fine in this matchup. Despite the incredible range of a rhinoceros's horn, the giraffe's kick can still outrange it. And although rhinos are quite tanky, a good mm. kick to the face is usually enough to dissuade further attacks. Yeah, buddy. An important matchup I want to discuss is the hyena. Now, hyena. because they can't really jump, hyenas don't have anywhere near the vertical threat range that lions or leopards do. So attacking God, an adult dang. giraffe is pretty much out of the question. However, instead of this increased agility, hyenas have a much more powerful bite. Rather than requiring a critical hit, mm. a hyena can crack bone with a single bite anywhere on the target, which can immediately disable their prey and make rescue attempts futile. One bite? This is God. particularly effective against players who rely on their teammates for protection, as even if an ally does step in to fight off the GG, no oftentimes it's simply too late and the damage has already been done. Eventually, the teammates will move on and the hyenas will be able to close out the kill. Mm. Lastly, I don't think it's any real surprise to see that giraffes still have to respect the space of an elephant. Elephants are tall enough to grow Whoa, a giraffe with their powerful tusks. Whoa. So if there's ever a territorial the dispute hell? between an elephant and a giraffe, the elephant always wins. Thankfully for a giraffe, its longer legs grant it a faster run speed. So while elephants do pose a serious threat, this hardly ever actually results in direct damage. In fact, by and large, rather yeah, buddy, than competing with other urban not for the no elephant, bro. The I, I could have told you that. To they're they not fucking with no elephant, it bro. It actually makes a lot of sense for other herbivores to tolerate or even appreciate the presence of a giraffe. They aren't taking away any food that they would have accessed anyway, and could also serve as an early warning system if they see predators coming. So, while they're definitely not the most overpowered build, they're certainly Nigga, not let go! What the fuck? The majority of their playthrough, and a fairly reliable protection in the early game. Well, nigga need to I let the fuck- let it go! Holy fact, fuck! it's so strange that other herbivore players haven't started specking into similar height advantages to gain the same survival perks as the giraffe. The giraffe is extremely unique in its role in the meta, which is weird because historically, the treetop grazer giant type build has been extremely successful. Giant long-necked rhinoceros reigns what supreme the fuck during is the that? Scene. And before that, we saw this strategy absolutely dominate during the Mesozoic in the form of the sauropod dinosaur. So why only the giraffe in today's meta? There are a few theories on this, but that's beyond the scope of this video. In terms okay. of strategy and playstyle, the closest thing we have today is probably the camel. 
But surprisingly, the giraffe is not that closely related to camels. Mm. The giraffe only has two close relatives in the current meta. The that first is... is the okapi, a strange build that functions as sort of a middle ground between deer and giraffes. And the oh. second is one that basically nobody that would ugly as fuck too. the pronghorn, which is completely different than the giraffe in both stature and location. Both the okapi and giraffe are only playable on the Africa server, but to find the pronghorn, you need <laughs> the to Africa all server. The North America server. The pronghorn deserves an entire video <laughs> to itself bro. since it's such a fascinating the build server. with an extremely distinct strategy from everything else on the American server. <laughs> and the guess fuck? what? That video, it already exists. You can watch it right now, a month before everyone else, by subscribing to Nebula, a streaming service owned you know and operated by and for creators like me. Nebula has kindly sponsored.